How's it going fellow reef builders? Jake Adams here and today I have the last uh, tank tour video from Australia. This is only the second uh, home aquarium that I got to see because when I was in Australia really focused on a lot of stores and um, I didn't even know if this video was going to happen because um, this was actually my last day in Australia when I visited uh, Gallery Aquatica, uh, Jamie Andueza, and then uh, Reef Secrets uh, in Gold Coast and uh, man that was just like a grueling day of filming, shooting, editing, narrating and everything so um, at the end of that day um, Anya and Cameron who uh, took me to see Darren's shop uh, we went over to Darren's house to see his home reef tank um, because he's got a, an amazing store but it turns out that he also is uh, you know still really like a, a die-hard enthusiastic passionate uh, reef aquarium hobbyist so I went to his house, I was really burnt, so I didn't get a chance to really kind of get Darren on video to really ask him some questions about his tank, um, but I am going to do my best to share some of this really, really great footage I got of his home reef tank. I like it because it's uh, it's really different, it's really open, it's got a lot of different corals and fish, and it's uniquely his. So, um, like I said, I didn't get, really get any audio for the video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate it the best that I can because uh, this reef is just too good not to share. That's going to wrap it up for um, basically all of the original content <clears throat> that I got in Australia. And uh, I still owe you guys a couple roundup videos uh, with my highlight reels of all the best things that I saw in Australia. So, uh, enough jibber jabber, time to check out the fantastic reef of Darren Hatfield, owner of Reef Secrets Aquarium. So although I've been touring reef tanks all day, the moment I saw Darren Hatfield's home reef aquarium, I definitely got the uh, second wind I needed to really uh, perk up and pay attention to his uh, corals, his uh, aquarium, because uh, man, it's just a fantastic display. He's got a really, really cool aquascape. Um, definitely has his own style going on. So and I really, really appreciated the, uh, the heavy population of SPS corals. So one thing I really loved about Darren's tank is it's the uh, opposite of a rock wall. He's got the really porous yet high aquascape that has room for a lot of different corals. And uh, you can easily look uh, through the aquascape. If you look hard enough, you can see the holes all the way to the back and um, that's in every dimension. So you know that this aquascape uh, allows a lot of water flow to, or a lot of water to flow through. And um, it also gives a lot of places to put corals um, on top of each other, not directly on top of each other, but right here you can see that there's corals that are uh, nicely in the shade and there's a little cluster here of Lassimusa and um, things are thoughtfully grouped in zones just to make sure that everybody has the, uh, the right amount of uh, light and the right amount of water flow that they need. This hammer coral really grabbed my attention for having those very bizarre uh, tentacle tips. And uh, being in Australia, you know that Darren has incredible access to Homophilia Australis, these uh, Australian scolies in all different colors. Love the yellow and orange colors on these Australian scolies. And uh, here's a beautiful Cyphastria. It's kind of somewhere between a meteor shower and a bizarro Cyphastria, um, but really, really cool colors. Uh, another coral that he had that was really worth mentioning uh, are these orange-tipped uh, clove polyps, which are common from Indonesia, but really rare in Australia. So this is very special for them. And uh, this Blastomusa had a large uh, neoblast or a funky bubble of tissue that it had formed. So uh, yeah, a lot of really cool corals to talk about in Darren's tank. Darren has really mastered the uh, three-dimensional approach to aquascaping in his display reef. And you can see there's so much diversity of nooks and crannies where he can put just so many diverse corals. Um, and there's almost more coral than rock in this tank. And that's really how it should be in an aquarium like this. So you can, you can see that uh, there's very little rock to see. And uh, there's another look at uh, those beautiful Homophilia australis right there in a the ravine, you know, just kind of shaded, kind of sheltered, uh, right where they belong. Here's the 
Here's a cool look down the end of Darren's tank and you can see that that three-dimensional uh, heterogeneous uh, aquascape is still in effect. And uh, in this corner, you can see his uh, collection of zoanthids. Now, uh, throughout the West, we have access to a lot of different zoanthid strains, but man, in Australia, they have to work a lot harder for it. And they have to work harder for cool fish like that Borbonius. And uh, the coolest coral in Darren's tank for me was this just massive uh, Christmas tree worm rock. Um, this was a colony of Montipora, and it was just absolutely loaded and covered with all kinds of uh, Christmas tree worms. But it also had um, coral hermit crabs. And I literally, when I got to his house, I must have spent the first 15 or 20 minutes just looking at this coral, just observing the hermit crabs and the tube worms, and this thing totally, totally gripped my attention. So uh, yeah, I saw a lot of uh, colonies of these Christmas tree worm rocks in Australia, but uh, the one that was in a Darren's tank was by far the nicest. So you're obviously going to want to know how Darren keeps his tank. And I'm going to put the full uh, list of specs and equipment that he uses in the description below. But it's a really basic Berlin style aquarium. So he just uses filter socks, uh, JNS protein skimmer, and um, an RD3 Speedy for the return pump. Uh, he doses eight channels of additives, eight different additives, um, uses 10 80 watt uh, T5 fluorescent tubes, uh, along with three Kessel 360 tuna blues and uh, a few other things. The day that I saw Darren's reef tank was one of the most hardcore touring aquarium days I've ever had in my life. But seeing his tank, uh, seeing a home professional's tank was really, really cool. And um, definitely wanted to come back around and point out a couple corals. This is a beautiful, beautiful Monopora palawanensis with a tiger goby on top. And I'm sure some of you are already noticing the uh, little specks of uh, green fluorescent protein that have infected this colony. And, uh, you know, in the United States, we would work on that and try to develop that green because it's a very desirable coral. And on the other end of the spectrum is the classic uh, Dallas Acro, which is an analog to the uh, green slammer we have here in the United States. And uh, definitely an iconic coral for the Australian uh, reef scene. So there you have it. There's the reef tank of Darren Hatfield. I hope you enjoy this format where I kind of squeezed in the video, um, even though I didn't get a chance to narrate it. Um, there's a lot of beautiful corals, really nice fish in this tank. And um, it's just really neat to see how Australians do their own reef tanks, especially a veteran like Darren. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, because man, we're cranking out the videos here on Reef Builders video. We've got a lot coming up, so uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.